Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer. Now, the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as the playlist for all the videos in the series. Now, I'm not sure what happened to the Lucid Simmer, actually. Um, I don't know of anyone who's ever actually completed this challenge. And unfortunately, the channel's creator seems to have no more recent videos. But anyway, we have Adora Denson, and she is the next generation heir. She is Gen 3. Ah. And for her, we are actually almost done with everything that we need to do. The only thing that she really needs is to get her mixology to level 10. And she is currently level 7. Now, last time, we actually had her go out with Richard. And I did get one comment that said that we should just go ahead and marry Richard instead of looking for another potential match when we're out playing music. And I kind of agree with that. So basically, they had a little bit of a woohoo in the hotel after Adora's birthday. And I do have Risky Woohoo on, but it's set to 1%. And she did not get pregnant from that. But the rules state that we can cheat for this pregnancy since she's supposed to have twins or triplets. So I went ahead and said, okay, Adora and Richard got together and accidentally got pregnant so Adora is currently pregnant with multiples now she just found this out because it was a couple of days ago and she is currently in the first trimester so she hasn't told Richard yet and she's not sure what he will say and looky here who's calling I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date and get some lunch at Benson's? Sure, Richard, we'll go out with you. Okay, I'm not sure why, but he asked Adora out on a date and I bet they're going to immediately send him home because there's no date goals over here. Something's up with that. So I'm just going to ask him out on a date before he can leave. There we go. Now I think it will allow me to keep the date. Okay, Richard is head over heels for Adora and wants to propose. Well, I guess this is going just as I planned. I was planning on telling him about the baby first, but I couldn't find the option on the menu. Okay, we'll become engaged. Okay, he's actually going to get down on his hands and knees. Not now, Grace. <laughs> okay, that's so sweet. I thought that they were just going to kind of voila, be um, engaged, not actually do the on-the-knee proposal. That's so cute. Okay, tell him about the pregnancy. Um, I forget where it is. Oh, it's just right. It's in the main menu. That's why. Um, maybe not. Where did it go? I saw it and then it just disappeared. Why is, does it look like he's leaving or something? Are you leaving, Richard? Is that why I can't do anything anymore? Why, where did all my options go? Where did all my options under friendly go? Oh, this is weird. All right. Can't do anything. Uh, what? What? They're getting married? <laughs> okay. This is not what I had in mind. Why did you do that? <laughs> that was all autonomous. And it's a gold date. Okay. I guess getting married does make it a gold date. Richard. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. He's in a household with a bunch of people and I can't bring him over right now. I'll have to do that later. Okay, can we please just tell him about the big news? Share big news. Okay. Okay, now that we're married, Richard, I kind of have a secret to tell you. Um, we're pregnant. 
Are you happy about it? <laughs> Getting married and being pregnant all in the same day. Well, he did not look ecstatic. And he's immediately punching on his phone. All right. Well, that didn't look like a good response, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, we're just going to add you to the household. All right, we never did get a table. Let's forget about the state. Let's go home. Well, sometimes you have plans for your sons, and you expect them to not jump the gun and do everything out of order. All right, well, Adora, I would appreciate next time if you would tell your boyfriend first that you are pregnant before well i don't know he proposed to her so it's not like she proposed to him that would have been bad but he proposed first i still would have told him before replying to that <laughs> maybe i guess it was heat of the moment but they even got married on the spot that was not in the plan Okay, since Adora is pregnant, we're no longer going to do the musician thing for right now. She's taking a break, and she's just staying home right now and being pregnant for right now. So, no more going to parties, no more playing her guitar, and that kind of makes her a little bit sad. But she's also a little bit excited, because now she gets to be a mother. And I think GeekCon over here is glitched. For some reason, it won't go away. And May keeps using the computers down here. That is actually driving me kind of insane. Oh, it's all of the festivals. Not just GeekCon. Oh, that's terrible. Why is it like that? It's like none of the festivals have disappeared. Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure how to fix that glitch. Okay, that was painful, but I just went through and destroyed all the objects in this area manually. So here's hoping that when I reset the game, that all of this stuff doesn't come back. Because if I destroyed anything that was actually part of the world, it would just come back because I've done that before. When I get annoyed at people using things that are that they're not supposed to use. So hopefully everyone just goes away and this doesn't come back and then it'll be fixed. I know there's still some rugs down here that I can't destroy, but the next festival that appears and then disappears, supposedly everything should go away as it should. I don't know. Okay, that's much better. I think this is the default stuff that's supposed to be here. So we have the vendor stalls, a few trash cans here and there, and here's the bathrooms and the busking stand. So all of this stuff was actually destroyed and it's back now because when you reset the game, any of the destroyed objects that are supposed to be there by default get restored. So I, like I said, I'm not concerned about any of the stuff that was supposed to be here. And it is still a little bit messy because of the rugs, but they should hopefully disappear the next time there is a festival and this stuff gets taken down as long as I stay here for the entire festival, which I don't know. How much longer are we going to be here? Oh, uh oh. Jean-Luc needs some medicine. So yeah, some of my dogs are elders. Actually, both of my dogs are elders. They unfortunately will not be lasting the entire week. So sorry about that in advance. And then the cats are still adults. So I don't know why. Did I get the cats last? Maybe, I think maybe we got the dogs first and then the cats, and that's why the cats are younger than the dogs. But anyway, uh, the horses will be around for a while. Um, for whatever reason, horses live a lot longer than dogs and cats in The Sims. Well, I guess they do in real life as well. But these goats, I don't know how long the goats have been around, but it seems like they've been around for a long time. Anyway, let's get back to the story. And the story right now has just been try to keep 
these infants alive because they're always hungry and dirty and tired. And well, it looks like they're doing significantly better now, but it was kind of rough for a while. Okay, I have added the family-oriented trait for Trevor and removed the hates children trait because he had four babies and he had May and he was always such a good father for May and now he has to put up with four more infants. So yeah, he should be family-oriented instead of not liking kids. That's not really that realistic. So let's get the baby's fed. It looks like they're getting hungry again. Oh no, the cats are becoming elders. So yeah, they're about a week behind the dogs. Okay, I'm glad that I don't have to have a mod for this anymore. So the adults will actually cuddle in bed. It's so cute. Oh no. Um... The ranch hand, Kyle Kyleson, has passed away because he was trying to fix a robotics instrument in the rain. Or maybe it was raining when it came out here and it's no longer raining. But... Yeah, sorry, Kyle. It's not cursed, so I don't know why he died. Okay, Graham, can you please spare my ranch hand? I mean, kind of... Hoping I don't have to pay workers compensation on this. Okay, so Grim decides to spare me the workers comp claim. Hi Kyle, nice to have you back with us. Just be careful when you're repairing the electronics, okay? Okay, it looks like GeekCon is going on, so hopefully if I stay here the entire time, all of this stuff will disappear, including the stuff that's not supposed to be for GeekCon. Oh wow, I completely forgot about Adora up here. Sorry, Adora, I had her practice and she's gone into labor. Oh, that stinks. I think though that they max her needs once she goes to the hospital, so we should be fine. Okay, so we brought Richard with us. We should check in at the front desk and don't panic, Richard. Everything will be fine. Okay, it is a little bit glitchy because I've been in this safe for a long time, but I think we're finally going down the hall to the birthing room. And come on, Richard, you should come here too. Don't chat. And of course we have a ghost doctor and maybe they fixed the bed in here. I don't know. <laughs> and he's panicking again. Okay, well, let's see. Are we going to glitch through the bed or not? Well, it looks like everything is fine. And we have a girl. So what should we name our kids? I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any comments for name suggestions, so maybe we'll just do random. Paisley is kind of cute. I like that. And a boy. His name is going to be Case. And another girl. Her name will be Regina. Okay, so we have triplets. And of course, I knew that because I did... Oh, Adora is feeling really cheerful. Things are going well and Adora doesn't have a care in the world. So she's going to be cheerful. That sounds fine. But I knew that there was going to be three babies because we did cheat for these. But oh, we got one normal skinned baby, which was Case. And then the two girls are blue babies. But a different color blue? Well, that's really weird. Okay, so all the GeekCon stuff is gone. However, the other stuff did not disappear from the other festivals. Like the Romance Festival has these petals. And then I can't remember which ones have the art thing. But okay, so I guess those are just going to be permanently there. Since I can't get rid of them, they are rugs. Great. Okay, now that we have four babies over here to take care of, 
And then we also have three babies up here to take care of. Mays decided that the family finances are just a little bit stretched. So even though May is a famous celebrity, she doesn't earn enough money for everyone. So we're going to have to do something about that. And Adora loves music, but she really didn't get anywhere as far as her guitar playing is concerned. She isn't a famous celebrity and she doesn't sell out clubs. She just barely makes a few tips here and there. So basically, Mays decided to help her do something with her music. And we're going to buy a music store for her. And she's going to run a retail store and sell instruments and music, maybe some of the unreleased tracks that Trevor has produced. So I have all of these tracks in my inventory and some of them are worth a lot of money. Some of them are only 50 simoleons, but some of them are maybe a hundred or maybe, yeah, that one's a hundred. Okay. So I think I might have a 200 one in there, but maybe not. Maybe they're just 150, but that's pretty good. So we can sell all of these CDs in a music store and get a retail store going. And the best part about that is that we don't have to stay home all the time with the kids. So yeah, we might get that started now. Okay, so if you don't remember this from one of the other episodes, this is the retail lot where we played once as a teen. And it's kind of perfect for what I wanted to do. So here in Magnolia Park, we're going to pretend that this is just an extension of San Maishuno but it's a little bit of a theme going on here. So we have the Harry Potter area, and then we have this little, I don't know, French country style bakery. And then this one is kind of like a castle. So it's like a themed shopping plaza. And I know it's not technically part of San Machino, but San Machino doesn't have a whole lot of lots that you can build on like this so it does have a few but i've already dedicated those to other types of lots so this is going to be the shopping area and i had to empty out almost everything from this store that was sellable so may is going to be starting over and we're going to be building this store up and using it as a retail lot Okay, so I think we'll run the store from about 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. every day. And the only thing is right now, it is close to 9 p.m. But we'll just have a trial run to see how everything works. I do have one 15,000 simoleon violin for sale. And I don't have the price markup set too high. So we do have a coffee maker up here. We do have a microwave and a refrigerator that we can buy things from. We can actually buy snacks. You don't have to make something, which is nice. And then we also have an employee. So we'll start out with maybe a little bit of a late night. Oh, and it is thunderstorming outside. Wonderful weather we're having here. I just mainly want to make sure that most of this stuff is purchasable, that especially this violin, it's kind of not really on that shelf because you can't place a violin on a shelf. And that's kind of strange to me to just have it on the ground, especially since it's 15,000 simoleons. Okay, so we'll try and get some of these people to buy. We do have a lot of customers here. Okay, we already have some people starting to buy, and it looks like you're going to buy something cheap. Maybe we can have this guy ring people up? I don't know. Doesn't seem to be doing very much, or maybe we should have him restock. Oh, he's taking the customer's order. Well, that's good. You're at least useful. Okay, after we ring up the last couple of people, I think we're going to close, because it's pretty much past 11 p.m. 
Okay, and we made 399 simoleons. Okay, it's the baby's birthdays. That means we're going to have more infants. Yay! But I think these infants are going to be aging up pretty soon, so that's good. Okay, happy birthday, Paisley. Let's see, Paisley is going to be wiggly. Happy birthday, Case. Case is going to be calm. And happy birthday, Regina. Regina is going to be cautious. Uh, let's just make her intense, just because I think that matches her name. Okay, and now for the infants. Happy birthday, Christy. Okay, and all the toddlers are going to be independent just because that's the easiest. Oh, and someone got a top-notch infant. Oh, and now we get to see them in their disguises. They're disguised automatically as toddlers, but for some reason, as infants, they weren't. Okay, next is Camille. Which one are you? Okay, happy birthday, Camille. And Camille's also going to be independent and a top-notch infant. Okay, next is Melvin, but he's being taken care of by the butler. Put me down. Happy birthday, Melvin. Okay, and Melvin is going to be independent as well. And then we have Olivia. Happy birthday, Olivia. And she's also independent, no surprise. Okay, now that we have all these toddlers around and we have their bedroom made over, hopefully things will be a little bit less hectic because you don't have to pay as much attention to the toddlers as you do to the infants because they can pretty much do everything that they need to do. And we're hopefully going to get them to go potty occasionally. And they can actually come over here and just grab this popcorn, which... I find quite useful. I mean, there's nothing else that they can just grab like that unless you actually put it out for them in this baker's rack. So the popcorn is a nice feature. Okay, but these guys up here are now infants. So it's a little bit tricky. I need to try and get you guys to sleep. Don't check the infants as much. Let the butler do it. No, don't check her. Go to sleep. Maybe I should move the infants into this room over here so that the parents can actually go to sleep. I did it this way before because I wanted the parents to wake up when the babies were crying. But now they have to go to the store during the day and earn some money. So I'm not sure if that's such a good idea anymore. Oh, it's 11 a.m. It's already time to go to the store. Well, let me make sure that they're all bed at least because I do know that if you send them to daycare occasionally they won't get fed and so I need to make sure they're at least all fed before I go to the store. Richard apparently has random turn-ons and turn-offs. I did not notice that so he doesn't like brown hair and he doesn't like argumentative or optimistic sims, and he doesn't like health and sports or boho outfits. But Adora became cheerful, and I did not realize that that is a conflict with Richard, who is also cheerful. So he's now unattracted to Adora. That is really weird, but he is fine for his romantic satisfaction level. Well, deeply in love, yet unattracted. That's sad, really. Okay, we'll let Richard and the employee handle the sales for right now, and Adora's going to play her guitar and see if she can get some tips. I don't think it'll work because she's at a retail lot, but you never know. Okay. Kenneth, get to work. There's a sale over there. Go make it. 
Why are you talking to people? Well, maybe if I go greet these people. I can't do anything with the celebrities. I don't like that. Okay, if I insert myself into the conversation and then say goodbye to the employee, hopefully he'll go do something else. I need to go ring up these people because they're starting to flash. The employee is not doing as he should. I think maybe he's assigned a different task or something. That does happen occasionally. I think I'm probably going to have to fix his assignment. Okay, how do I... Okay, assign work task. Ring up customers. Yeah, he's answering questions. You need to ring up customers. I wish they would just do everything based on what's the most important thing to do at the moment. Like ringing up customers is first priority. Then restocking and maybe answering customers' questions and cleaning. You know, always ring them up first. We definitely need more employees. Okay, maybe we'll promote Kenna because he's asking about a promotion. All right, now we just need to work on trying to get most of those uh, perks. So we need about 105 more points. Okay, there's someone over here who needs to be rung up. Why is my employee not handling it? Where is my employee? Oh, come on. Go ring up that person downstairs. If you don't ring him up after I promoted you, I'm going to get a new employee. Oh, come on. You're going to miss the sale. I'm going to berate you for slacking. Uh, now he's not assigned to do anything. Okay, well, that's not your fault. That's the game's fault. Maybe I shouldn't hire employees, but it's going to be hard to manage the store, especially if Adora is supposed to play her music, if I don't have any employees. I think maybe the promotion made it so that his task was reset. That might make sense. Okay, he has ring up customers assigned. Now the next one, he better ring up. It's almost time to close. Okay, he's ringing her up. Good. All right, what I'm going to do is take the stance that nothing is restocked until the evening and we're closed. That way I have more of a chance to sell this 15,000 simoleon violin and the DJ booth and other things because otherwise it looks like they're just buying all of these cassette tapes which yeah it's that's nice but I don't really want you to do that. Okay it's almost time to go. I better help them ring up some customers because we need to close as close to 11 p.m. as possible. Okay, I think you're ringing him up from across the table. All right, well. No, you're not ringing him up. All right, well, <laughs> I think it's because I kept trying to ring him up. All right, well, I'll, I'll get busy on restocking because it is 11 p.m. After this one is checked out, I'm going to close the store. If this one ever gets checked out. Okay, store is closed. Everybody leave. Nope, you're too late. We made 1,664 simoleons. And now we need to restock everything before we go home. Oh, you can actually check them out after the store is closed? I did not know that. Okay, maybe we'll ring him up. Okay. Just a minute, kid. I don't want to lose this restocking progress. I'm almost there. Don't go away. Let me see if it works. Okay, so no, ring him up. Hurry up. I don't know if it'll work, though. If I ring him up, it may not count. Yeah, he didn't buy anything. It let me check him out, but he technically did not buy anything. Do we have an outdoor bin somewhere? I do not think that we do. The slot may be missing an outdoor bin. Oh, the curtain. That's where that pile of trash came from. I think my curtain got 
zapped by lightning. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, we don't have an outdoor trash can. We need an outdoor trash can. Okay, the store is clean. We have an outdoor trash can. And we have basically hired a new employee. So, hopefully we can get home and take care of the kids before we come back and have to do it all over again. Because it's like 2.30 a.m. Oh no, we're losing Mr. Wolf. Aw, bye-bye, Mr. Wolf. You were a good dog. We just gave him a bath. Well, at least he was clean. Oh, and we also lost John Luck. I didn't even realize. I guess they were exactly the same age. So both of the dogs have passed away. We just have two cats and two horses now because I actually got rid of the other animals because for some reason the chickens and some of the goats were glitched and they were young adult, even though there's no way they should have been young adult. So yeah, we're going to clean off these beds and hopefully get all of this settled before we have to go into the store today. We might be a little bit late. I'm not sure. For some reason, the ranch hand is not cleaning these beds. And I don't know why. Okay, where are my employees? Need to make sure that they are set to ring up customers and maybe one of them should clean the store. I don't want them restocking though, at least not until it's almost time to close. Oh, my employee is tipping me. Okay, that makes no sense. All right, so we praise Kenneth. And then we ask him to ring up customers. He's already assigned to do that. Okay, so he's happy. Let me go and... Let's see. I have to, I guess, introduce myself to Sarah. Because I haven't met her yet, despite the fact I hired her. Okay, maybe we'll have her answer customers' questions. Yeah, that's what she's assigned to do already. I don't like the fact that they can only be assigned to do one thing. They should do whatever is necessary. Okay, so we should promote her. And then we have to also make sure that she is answering questions. Okay, because when I promote people, it seems like that they get reset. Where are you going? It can't possibly be anything that you want to do over here. Oh, no. Okay, you're just reacting to that. So we're going to lock this one for everyone but the household. And then you should go get to answering questions. Why are you down here? Well, maybe if I talk to you, I will bring you into the conversation up here. Okay, that's better. Now talk to these people, please. Okay, we have our first winner. Who is buying what? You're buying something? You look very sad. Oh. Okay, I thought maybe he was buying the violin, but no, I bet he's buying this cheap crafted guitar. Well, oh well. At least my employee is doing his job and ringing you up. Okay, why is this an unpleasant conversation? I think maybe one of the guys was kind of mean to me, and because of that, it makes everything else unpleasant. All right, well, um, no, it's an unpleasant conversation. Why? It's like everybody gets offended because someone else was mean to me. I was not the evil person. Okay, Richard is romantically reserved. All right, that's fine. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to stop talking for a little while. Maybe take a break and do something else or talk to somebody completely different. You're not talking to anybody. Okay, you are the only person talking to this little boy, and he's barely interested in purchasing anything. 
I don't think the answer questions does very well. Maybe I'll just change her to ring people up, too. Because she doesn't seem to be helping people buy. Okay, looks like some of my employees are heading home. They won't stay longer than eight hours, even if they're very satisfied. And you have not done anything since you got here. Are you going to go ring that person up, even though you went all the way up to the top to go to the bathroom? You're not going to get him in time. I'm going to do it. All right. Well, you can just leave then. You're not taking care of your needs. All right. We're going to have to let everyone go after eight hours. Maybe we should only be here for eight hours. Maybe noon to eight is a better time frame. Oh, he's not able to get to something. I bet it's the violins. Well, I'm just going to have to stack them on the floor. It's going to look stupid, but that's the way it has to be. And as usual, my game did not take care of the infants. At least the toddlers are okay. The infants are definitely not okay. Okay, we're opening around 4 p.m. So I think we'll stay open from 4 p.m. to midnight, which is kind of more like a nightclub as far as hours, but I think that's fine. Okay, I didn't realize these things up here were set for sale. <laughs> okay. Some people actually bought these. No, don't sell those. Oh, Sarah is pregnant. Well, congrats, Sarah, but hopefully you're able to do your job because I know it's hard to stand all day on your feet and have to go to the bathroom. So why don't you just sit at the register? Okay, at least someone's ringing people up. Hopefully the other guy will too. Yes, you're assigned to ring up customers. Go ring that guy up. Well, this week we have infants and toddlers. So no more babies, hopefully. And we'll be getting to children next week. So... This one is going to go rather fast because Adora is actually done with everything that she needs to do now that she has her multiple births and she has Mixology maxed at level 10. So she's not supposed to finish her aspiration and she's just supposed to earn money by running this retail store. So the next time that we join this family we'll be getting toddlers for adora and children for trevor so the kids will be a lot less difficult and a lot less hectic but this is charity thanks for watching